Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today I'm going to be cutting a bunch of birch trees for a wedding arch. The wedding is actually our oldest boy and his bride-to-be Sadie and she really likes this birch stuff. Um, it's, I guess it's all over the internet for weddings and stuff and for just general decorations around the house. I don't follow that stuff much, so I looked it up and what most people were using was roughly around this size. So, some of these, oh, and the cross piece, it's going to probably be just a squared arch got to be big enough for the both of them without them bumping into it and wedding dresses can be you know fairly big so it's gonna have to have enough of a, of a cross going a, or not a cross but a roof so to speak going across the top to fit both of them under it and it's gonna have to be tall enough so that it's not you know right above their head which would kind of look stupid. From the images I've seen, I think they were like seven and a half, eight feet tall. So I'll just give them, you know, a little bit over eight foot sticks. Our other son, the youngest son, is an awesome fabricator. He runs the maintenance on a whole bunch of buildings and stuff. He can pretty much do anything that he wants to so he'll probably be the one that puts this stuff together I mean they, they're both real handy but I think the younger the younger boy will end up having a hand in it so what I need to do I just need to give them a bunch of stuff these right here are only going to be good enough for the uprights and the cross pieces I don't think it has enough of the bendy stuff. Maybe that one over there. A couple of these larger ones might have some more bendy uh, little branches because they're going to want a uh, bunch of those too to weave on the sides and stuff like that. So I'm going to have to give them a mix of stuff. I also have some full size trees across the road in the pasture those have been needing to come down for quite some time so i can take one or two of those down and i have that one right there that i cut down that i really need to get off of the road over there so between all of this stuff i should have what they need they are 200 and some odd miles away so we're gonna have to work out the logistics to get it to them in time so that it can be built but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. All right, let me go dig out the saw out of the shed and start cutting trees. <laughs>
for here. This I won't send along, but I got enough long stuff here of medium size and most of this other stuff is big enough for the four corners and the cross supports. So now I need some more twig-like stuff and that has to come from a, a larger tree. When the trees are this size, their branches are red and I think she wants all white stuff. So I have a tree going across the Billy Road that I cut a while back and I really need to get it out of there. So I'll see what kind of little branches are on that and cut that out of there right away. I think it has some nice white branches. Then from there, I got trees over there, but I'm kind of running out of time. So let's see what I got down there and go from there. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna have to work a little delicately. I don't wanna damage this area. I just planted this not too long ago. But this is just full of skinny white branches with all kinds of detail on it. I don't know how, how to leave them. If I should trim much of this stuff off or not. I mean, some of these are nice and flat. They could be like put in the sides and left with the branches, you know, going this way, that way, yada, yada, yada. I don't know if this is, yeah, they're still pretty, pretty supple. All right, so dice a bunch of these off, bundle them up, and I think that's about it should probably call and let them know that this stuff will be ready today. They might be able to pick them up. Better do that right away before I cut this stuff. Okay, let's get busy. Good girl. Okay, here's all of our white-ish sticks. They're not super white. You can spray paint them if they want. Okay, that'll wrap it up. The guy's on his way. We found a ride for this stuff. And this will be in Milwaukee in a couple hours. Well, it'll be in Milwaukee tonight. We'll see how much of this we can pack into it. He's got a truck, so we should be able to get the majority of it in there. Yeah, they're probably going to want all this stuff just to, you know, weave some kind of a design in there. The, the majority of it is going to be garbage, but, you know, it's better to have too much than too little. Oh, I think he's coming. All right, I'm signing off here. 
Okay, that went real fast. He just pulled out, um, pulled up with a box van, picked up all the stuff, and he is on the road. All the parts that were here are going to be in Milwaukee by the end of the day. So I'll probably show pictures of that when. So I'll probably show pictures of the finished product whatever the boys make sometime after the wedding. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon so you're notified when I post the new videos. A like and a share would help as well. Helps the channel a lot. Thanks for watching and have a great day.